Come on into the library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Shelley and Jackson Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come and be a story Hello. Has everybody gone? Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Milton, Milton, Milton. Yes. <laughs> the children in the library today were talking about their best day ever. Yes. I love every day. <laughs> Me too, my little jelly bean. Mm. So, Jackson, what was your best day ever? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I liked it when we went to the seaside for the day. <laughs> Building sandcastles was fun. Yes, and we flew a kite. And we stuffed mm. ourselves with ice cream. <gasps> Yum! That was a good day, wasn't it? <laughs> the children had lots of best days ever. They even drew pictures of them too. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh. Mm. Can we have a story about a best day ever? Ah, yeah. good idea. Mm. Come on. Story machine, you are so clever. Make a story about the best day ever. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Join in with the magic ingredient. Mm. Are you ready? Imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's called Park Visit. Going to the park on a summer's day, sitting on Daddy's shoulders all the way. Running to the flowers. How beautiful they smell. Their colour is blue, my favourite as well. Climbing over the knobbly trees. Up above, leaves rustle in the breeze. Off we go to somewhere new. Upside down, it's a very strange view. In the sandpit with my bucket and spade. Building sandcastles, just look what I've made. In the park on a summer's day, sitting high up on shoulders, let's go this way. Having a rest under a tree, cool orange juice for Daddy and me. Feeding hungry pigeons who flew down to munch. And where are those squirrels? Perhaps they'd like some lunch. I look in the bushes and what can I see? A lovely brown squirrel catching nuts for his tea. A leaf and a stick make a little boat. Drop it into the water. Do you think it will float? The day is almost over. Sun setting in the sky. Just time for a lolly before we say goodbye. I've been to the park on a summer's day. Do you ever spend the day this way? Oh, what a lovely day. Uh, especially the climbing and the playing in the sand pit. Yes, it looks like they had the most splendid time. Mm. Oh, Milton. 
Captain, what is your best day ever? Uh, now, let me see. The day you thought it was my birthday was rather special. Mm -hmm. I got quite a surprise then, I can tell you. Yes, well, that was Jelly's fault, I'm afraid. She told me it was your birthday. No, it did not. It was you. It was not. What? It was not. What? It was not. What? Now was then, not. now then, you two. How about a piece of birthday cake? Mm. Even though it's no one's birthday. Mm. <gasps> <gasps> A yummy surprise. Mm. Mm. I've got an idea. Let's have a story about a birthday. Oh, yes, we mm. could use a, a little bit of the cake in yes. the machine. Mm. Splendid idea, my boy. So, it's one piece of cake for the machine and the rest for us. Are you ready with the magic words? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a Jack Sprat and Treacle Cat story. And it's called Birthday Surprise. Jack Sprat and Treacle Cat lived in a bin. A bin that people drop rubbish in. While Treacle dreams, Jack Sprat schemes. What will Jack Sprat make today? Hey, hey. What do you think of these classy decorations, eh? <laughs> ah, there's nothing I like better than a celebration. Yeah. I'm a party rat at heart. Today's really special because it's Treacle's birthday. <laughs> and I'm going to surprise him. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I don't know. I bet he thinks I've forgotten him. <laughs> oh, uh, cheesy niblets. I think I can hear him coming. I better hide these, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah, there you are, Jack. What are you up to? Not a lot. Just minding my own business, watching the world go by. Oh, I, I just wondered if you were planning a little something. Um... No, no, mate, not me. Thought I'd have a day lazing around, you know, busy doing nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. You haven't remembered anything special about today, then, Jack? Special? No, can't say I have treacle. Oi, watch out. I can hear someone coming. That was a close one. Poor old Treacle. I think he's going a bit soft in his old age. The big furball. Of course I haven't forgotten him. Here, see what I've been saving up for him. <laughs> this. Sardines. Only his favourite. <laughs> They're a bit whiffy, but I bet he'll love them. Now I better get a move on with me party plans. <laughs> oh, well. Why should I mind? After all, it's only a birthday. What's a birthday when you're my age, anyway? I mean, a cat's got nine lives, and I'm already on number seven. The odd thing is, I always thought Jack was quite fond of me. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better stop feeling sorry for myself, give my whiskers a lick, and pull myself together. Oi, treacle me, old mate. You'd better come huh? up here a moment. All right. Oh, 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 oh! Surprise, surprise! Oh, oh, oh. What's all this, Jack? Oh, you great big pussycat! You didn't think I'd forget your birthday, did ya? Uh, here's a present for ya! Oh, oh lovely! Oh, oh, Jack Sprat, you rascal! Oh, delicious sardines! <laughs> you can have them all for yourself, mate! Oh, what a feast! <laughs> Do you know, Jack, this is simply the most perfect mm, birthday ever. Oh, you are a big softy. What are friends for, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for your best day ever, Jelly. Oh, um, well, uh, I just can't decide. Mm, perhaps I'll go and look at the children's pictures to get some ideas. Mm. I still can't decide what my best day ever is. Hmm. Right, let's take a look at the pictures. Uh, oh, look at that aeroplane. Uh, I've never been on an aeroplane before, so that might be good. Hmm. And, oh, oh, the ducks in the park. Uh, I love feeding the ducks in the park. Um, oh, and there's a picnic. Oh, look at those juicy apples. Mm -hmm. 
But but I think my favourite picture is is those horses on the roundabout. Mm, I would like to go on a horsey on a roundabout. I, I think I'll use that picture to make a story. Mm. There. Now use your imagination and think roundabouts. Mm. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Well done, Jelly. It's a blue cow book. Blue cow goes to the fair. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was listening to the sounds of the birds and the cows. I wonder what it's like to go to a very noisy place. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a very noisy place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a fair. And then they arrived. People were shouting and laughing, going on rides and playing games. There were lots of brightly coloured lights everywhere. It was very, very noisy. Is this your first time at the fair? Said a duck who was munching on some candy floss. Yes, said Blue Cow. Mine too. I'm Daphne. Shall we look around together? That would be nice. Let's go on the waltzes, cried Daphne. She pointed to a brightly painted ride. OK, said Blue Cow, and they got into one of the cars. A man came and fastened them in. Here we go, he said. The music began and they slowly started to go round. Faster and faster they went. Round and round and round and round. Whee! Everything was a blur. Blue Cow was getting very dizzy. moo she said, holding on tightly. Poof! The candy floss blew apart. Pink strands whooshed everywhere. Puff! Some of it hit Blue Cow above the eyes. Piff! Some hit her chin. Puff! A big dollop landed on Daphne's head. Whee! You! The ride stopped and they got off. They did look funny. Blue Cow had a pink beard and eyebrows and Daphne had a pink bouffant hairdo. Mmm, said Blue Cow, licking the candy floss from her chin. Mmm, this must be the tastiest beard in the world. <gasps> oh, I wonder if going to the fair was Blue Cow's best day ever. Mm, I wonder. Mm. She's always doing something exciting, isn't she? Yes. Well, I've been mm. thinking, today hasn't turned out badly either, has yeah. it? Mm. Oh, look, it's time to go. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.